So as you may or may not know, my new book, Approach Without Caution, is coming out on the 5th of January. I've done a couple of readings from it, but I thought one of the things I talked to you about today was something that is a central message in everything the book is about, which is taking responsibility for yourself. And one of the things um, I talk quite heavily about is cancel culture. And cancel culture is an interesting thing because basically you've got a group of people or individuals judging someone else, going through their, their past history, pointing fingers and becoming sort of a part of a crusade to to shut that person down, to get them unemployed, for them to do travel things themselves, whatever it might be. Uh, also asking employers to, to, to fire them. One of the things about cancel culture is, is I was equated to like TV. So I've never watched a programme on TV and been so offended that I've complained. I've written to Ofcom. I've contacted those who appear in the in the show um, and told them what I think of them or been so disgusted that um, I've caused this great outrage. I've just changed the channel and moved on with my life. I didn't like that and I've moved on. And the thing with cancel culture is people don't move on anymore and for me it's about not looking at, yourself, looking at yourself first so look at yourself first so go do you know what is my life so perfect is my relationship so good is my body so good is my work so good am i earning enough money am i being socially responsible enough am i doing all the things i can do to make society better am i treating people nicely um am i you know a perfect angel if the answers to any one of those questions is no worry about your fucking self stop worrying about what other people are doing stop worrying if you're you, you should have no ability to judge anybody unless your side of the street is, is pristine. And that's why I don't do it. I'm so busy and focused on trying to be the best version of myself that I make mistakes. Yes, I offend people all the time. Yes, I do stupid things. People upset me all the time. But do I worry about myself first? Do I go, oh, do you know what? They've made a mistake. I'm going to chastise them. Or am I going to worry about my side of the street? And the one thing you should always do is if you're criticizing, if you're doing a social media pile on, if you're hunting someone, if you're doing a, you know, a witch hunt, if you're criticizing... Look at yourself first, look at your own life. And if there's any room for improvement in your own life, then stop fucking judging people. Stop looking at other people's lives, get yourself sorted. Because it's very easy in life these days to get part of a pseudo crusade, to jump on board a uh, bandwagon, hounding people, hounding a theme, hounding a cause. When I'm sure if all the people part of that cause took responsibility to themselves, to live better, to live more responsibly, to, um, you know, to, to, to raise standards of the things they see, to stop people being abused, to stop whatever it might be, even just as simple as recycling, whatever it might be, um, you know, not criticising people on social media, spending more time developing themselves, putting more time into their community, whatever it might be, the world would be a better place instead of going on a pseudo crusade and gluing yourself to the floor or, or attacking people on social media, whatever it might be, you know, so that's just a thought for the day. And an approach that course has five pillars in it, which will help you navigate through all of these, give you little tools and bits and pieces I've picked up. But that's why I never judge. It's because the first thing you've got to do is look at yourself. Go, am I perfect? Could I do better? If the answer is yes, stop judging other people. Stop trying to get people cancelled. Just worry about your fucking self.